Hello and welcome to Sheep Dog Says. I'm Sheep Dog and this is Bosco and Lamp Up. And as you can see, Lamp Up has grown her first horn. Mm -hmm. Say hello, Lamp Up. Hello. And say hello, Bosco. Hello. <laughs> you can move your mouth. Um, <laughs> yeah, when you're nine, like Lamp Up, you will grow a unicorn horn right out the front of your head here. Um, it falls off when you're a bit older, though. <laughs> How did it feel having your horn grow free for the first time, Lamp Up? <laughs> it didn't happen, so you can't think of a story. Now, um, in reality, we've just been to uh, Lamp Up and Bosco's school fate. Um, although I kept calling it the school for witches and wizards, and Bosco was getting very, very annoyed with me because that's not <laughs> where we went. We just went to their school, which we won't name. Um, and as you can see, Lamp Up has had her face done up with a rainbow and a horn. How exactly did they do that? Was it just a paintbrush? Or? Well, basically... Um, for the rainbow, it was basically like a palette, and that you can get different kinds of rainbow. But I just wanted the actual like rainbow. Yeah. And basically, they had like a um little bit where it was rainbow, and then they basically just wiped the brush across across it. But it didn't like mix all in together. It if you just did that, it would come out exactly Very cool. the same. Very cool. And the then they just glued the, the gems on. and the horn. See, I've tried to glue moustaches on before. Before I had one, when I was trying to dress as Super Mario, and they'd just fall no, off. No, so how is that not falling they, off? Um, it, it was like, I think it's like um, makeup glue or something. Well, uh, yeah, no, it's your makeup glue, the, but the, not super glue. You're not stuck the, like that forever. No, the, 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 these jewelry bits are attached to the horn. Ah, so okay. you can just like put them in. Have the you the felt the urge to like gruff your feet back on the floor and just go and knock into people like a three horn. No, because no? then it would fall off. Mm. So this is why I shouldn't have horns. That's why my horn fell off when I was a kid, Bosco. Um, because I kept jumping into people and headbutting them. So when yours grows, were you going to do that? Uh, no. no. But we had a good time anyway, didn't we? I don't like, I don't like gay paint. You don't like all oh right. You don't like face paint, so you're not going to do that. I don't. To be fair, I, I'm dreadful, and I think I you've inherited them. that. I hated getting but my face I, painted. I just went. I, I didn't. Feel I only board. liked it to get the the one at Dunfarage. Oh, well, when they put like nice bits on you. Yeah. I think the reason I don't like it is when I was younger, I asked them to face paint me, and they said they did Sonic the Hedgehog, and I said, well, I like Tails more, and the woman was like, I don't know who Tails is. And I said, well, Tails is Sonic, but Orange is a fox. Just do the Sonic paint, but, you know, orange. orange. And she said, oh, I have a tiger. And I said, no, just do Sonic with orange paint. And she was like, what are you doing, Goth? And um, she was like, oh, I don't know what you mean, so I'll paint this. And then somebody at the time was like, yeah, that looks like Tails. And I ran around all day, and when I got home, it looked nothing like Tails. It was all these lines, like a like a tiger, basically. She'd just done black and orange, and I was just like a stripy tiger. No one cared, but I was outraged because I hadn't seen a mirror. She didn't show me my face, and I just did not look like Tails at all. Um, anyway, school fates. we just been to yours. It was quite yeah. fun. I feel guilty because we don't help out at the school fate. They send a letter around and they say, help, send stuff, they this, that, and the other. They put it on the door of each yeah. classroom. They say, will you donate some time to do a fate? And when I grew up, the school fete was awesome every year. It was a massive field school fete, yeah. hundreds of stalls, um, and my family would always do the sweetie stalls. So we'd always stand there selling packets of sweets for like 30p a bag, and they'd have like 30 sweets in them even, because mm -hmm. they were penny sweets. And it was awesome. And any that didn't get sold, we got to keep. Mm -hmm. So I would basically walk oh. around the field at the end trying to sell them for like 20p a bag, and people would say, well, can I have sort of two for 20p? And I'd say, nope, because any I sold for less than 20p, I couldn't eat, so basically I'd end up with like 50 bags left, all the sweets I could want, and we would just wolf them down. Now you'd like that, wouldn't you, Busco? Not that'd really. be nice. Would you, like would you like that? Would you like that? Is what I'm saying. That's yeah, the question. I would now, like to do that. somebody bought well one, like a bajillion sweets. You went on what? A tombola? Um, it's like a, where you have to pass me those Haribos you won, like the box. I mean, she came over with a bag, a handbag. Hang on, you wait. You're all right. And um, that'll do for now. But she, she got these out of a bag and was like, yeah, I won these, put them in the back of the bottom of the push chair. And then she was like, I also won this, I also won this. Then she started emptying a bag out and it was just bag after bag of sweets. And we're looking at her like, mm -hmm. what the hell? I mean, Bosco passed me his um, 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 blah, lamp up, I'll get them. 
How much that's going to be? I want to get them. Bosco won these doing like a ring toss and a hitting the can thing, didn't you? Which was quite funny because we were saying to him, he's throwing with his left hand and kept missing and we told him to use his right hand and he threw it straight in the face of the boy that was doing the, <laughs> the stall. <laughs> um, the boy knew it was an accident, but it just went whoosh out into a corner and just smacked him and we were all like, It was uh -oh. my friend's brother who was Really? That. <laughs> well, he's, uh, he's he got in a bit of pain. Now, oh. Bosco kind of cursed us. There's one thing, that, there's two things nobody wants to win at these events. One thing is loom bands, and Bosco managed to get five bags of loom bands while he was there, even though we kept telling him just to leave them. It doesn't matter, we don't want them. No, you're all right, don't do it. So um, Lamp Up's been teaching him how to make loom band armbands. Yes. The other thing, Bosco was desperate to have a go on the Teddy Tombola, and we kept saying no, didn't we? We kept saying, no, we don't want more teddies. You've got hundreds of teddies. He had loads of Pokemon ones. Come down a bit. A loads of other teddies that in his room. They're all in bags and in piles upstairs. So then we let him have one go on one thing, one draw. And they said to him, pick the name of this teddy. And he looked through them all. And there was one. Why did you pick the name? What was the name you picked? Flash. Flash. And why did you pick Flash? Because he's a superhero. Because he's a superhero. And, and, a, and my teddy's a red dog. They announced at the end that Bosco won. won Flash, the dog. And, I mean... Oh, he bring it down got, a bit. He got another teddy. Yeah, it's bigger than us. It's bigger than all of us put together. Now, we were honestly, he, he was just like, I want to get a teddy from the Tombola. And we were like, no, we don't want more oh, teddies. Oh, All right, nice. I want my face to be in the video, please. Um, yeah, I, I know that one. thousands don't, or well, tens don't. But um, yeah, this little fella just is humongous up. and he's called Flash. Yeah. I don't know if it means he can run fast or what. Mm. Um, it was quite funny because they would just like read out his name and we were like, oh, for God's sake. Because some <laughs> like one of your friends, mum and dad's won like a nice day out at this fancy house. Yeah, and, I know. Um, we won't say names, but I mean, they were a bit like, eh, fair enough. Let's put him back where he was because it's too hot to be hugging a big And furry somebody animal. won a big jar of sweets. Yeah, and other people were winning, like, they always have a £100 raffle and things like that. So we'd stuck around in the hope, and all we ended up was that giant. Dog, yeah. which, dog, which you wouldn't come you. and get. We're going like, come on, Bosco, we need to go now. You just won a prize, and he's like, what is it? I'll come when I know what it is. Bless you. But um, surprise. I've learned a trick with fate. If we wait around at the end, all the tombola stuff. So as well as trying to win um, sweets on a tombola, we also tried to win toys and failed. Don't touch the horn. We tried to win alcohol and failed, which yeah. is an outrage. We won a big bottle of olive oil, <laughs> which is in date, so we can still use it. I was nervously thinking it was just someone's mouldy olive oil, but it's it's less than six months old and it doesn't go off for a year, so we're all right. It's three um, years? It's, I don't know, it might say three years. Um, but what's weird is once it got to the last like 20 minutes they still had so much alcohol left that they started saying to people just buy a ticket and we'll give you a can or a bottle and i wasn't near the stall i only heard about this after someone had cleared the stall out i was thinking i could have gone over there with 10 pound and left with about 60 70 80 pounds worth of wine um <laughs> so i'm outraged at that bit and then oh, the cake yeah. stall finished and they were wandering around offering free cake to everyone who wanted one which i know oh, you what? took because when I, I come to get busco he was sat in this little bus thing that someone had been driving around stuffing his face with cake i, I did uh, not see that yeah exactly so <laughs> i think what? and this what somebody who was doing somebody it somebody did a, a deal deal that a cake dum, dum, someone dum, stole a cake for, no no the cakes were free the cakes were free yeah no they were somebody just, Got a cake, but oh, right, and stole but, it from somebody else. Like, yeah. oh, I see. <laughs> no, but, um, no, the person who stole it gave it to a different person. Uh, okay, oh. but so he wanted the cake. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, it was good fun because yeah. I mean, I remember the, the they never did that when I grew up. We'd always try and sell stuff off, but I guess they just weren't as savvy as me to take everything home and steal it and eat it. We always used to have this bizarre thing on the field. So because it was such a big field when my school was on, like it would have been 10 times the size of the one we had today. Uh, there'd always be people who turn up and do dodgy. They'd be selling like uh, Disney toys at the back of the field, but they'd be like knockoff ones for a fiver and you have to do some weird carnival ride and stuff like that. And then my headmaster would run up the field chasing them to get them off because they'd be trying to raise money for themselves. And, not, and I always remember these, the, the, the fates used to be massive. 
We did one when my cousin was in a wheelchair. He broke his leg. And I went round the whole day. This is mortifying as an adult, but I went round the field telling everyone who asked what had happened to him that I had broken his leg. I look back on that and think the amount of people who must... I just, for a joke, he'd actually fallen off monkey bars like the week before. But all his teachers were like, what happened to you? And we were like, oh, we got in an argument and I broke his leg. And everyone's just like, oh, right. And so there's so many people in Essex now who think I'm this monster who did it. Did you get a red slip? Did I, well, no, they didn't give me a red slip because it wasn't in school time. And I didn't actually do it. But I think they might have thought I was a monster for like ever. They'd have assumed, come back a bit, that I'd actually hurt my cousin. Which mm-hmm. I didn't. He'll verify that. I did not break his leg. Um, did yeah, you enjoy yeah. your school fate anyway? Oh, uh, no. Yeah. No? Yeah. Yes, you did. Was it as good as last year? Uh, um, yes. Because um, the, uh, the normally is three... Um, bands of castles, but there was only two because they don't normally have it. But there's like the swings that go round. They don't. Yeah, normally they have norm- that. yeah. They had a few. They had one or two more rides. It seemed small this year actually, but I think that's just because it's all about volunteers and we didn't and other people didn't volunteer. So wow, wow yeah. for that. But mm. no, I had good fun. It was a nice afternoon yeah. out. I didn't get as much alcohol as I wanted, so we stopped at Tesco's and bought our own on the way back, mm. which we should have just done. I could have spent the day drinking in the afternoon. And you could have had lots of sweeties. We went out and got you a shiny Pokemon, didn't we? You got a shiny Rosalia or Rosalia, I can't pronounce and I was it. And you the got your magazine. So you've had a very good afternoon of winning and catching. I was playing catching. in the garden. You playing. were playing in the garden and poking people with your your horn. No, I was playing in the garden. With well, I'm going to spend the Benjamin. rest of this evening drinking beer and watching football, and it's mm. going to be fun. Are you going to chill out with me and watch some football? Yes, I want yeah. to beat Harry Bros. Who do you want to win? I can't remember if it's Portugal and Uruguay. I don't think we want either of them to I, win in I our sweepstake. Have, I don't have them. Right. Well, we're going to wrap it up there. Thanks very much for watching. <laughs> Hit subscribe. It should be over here above Lamp Up's head. Give um, thumbs up. Watch more videos in this I bit. No you. thumbs down. Oh, I wanted to know, lots, ask you a lots, question. Lots, and we lots, can ask lots. you, if you manned a stool at a fate, what stool would it be? Because I would always pick the sweetie Daddy, stool because then you get to control the good Daddy. stuff. And... Heard you like, heard you at five and hit thumbs up and hit the, the bell and bye! <laughs> okay, that wasn't a question, that was just subscribe and hit the bell. What store would you run if you could run any store? Uh, what store um, would you run if you could oh, run any store? Oh, I know, I know. Um, only if you would get to, I would, I would want to <laughs> run um, three stores. What um, stores? Slime stool, a squishy stool, and a sweetie stool. I think you'd make loads of money. And I considered sh- and chocolate. I did consider bringing a TV and an Xbox and just charging kids to play Fortnite for half an hour because they'd probably spend a fortune. What <laughs> stool would you run? A teddy stool? Yeah, yeah a lot of people would and want to play that. A plant stool. A plant stool. And what, selling uh, plants. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and a house stool. House stool. Selling house stuff. Yeah. Like chairs and stuff. That would be boring. That would be a bit. There's a lot of people there selling housey stuff. I, I kind of no, feel I like, unless you're winning it, it's not worth it. Like and, ornaments and, and stuff. chocolate doll. Yeah, that sounds good. Well, thanks for watching. Say bye-bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.